Good evening. Uh, my name is Arnaldo Cruz, and I'm the executive director of the Segundo Ruiz Belvis uh, Cultural Center, uh, also known as SRBCC. Um, our cultural center has been around in Chicago for over 40 years, uh, providing valuable services to many communities here in Chicago. Our cultural center is really proud to have spearheaded this important project, uh, the Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. This project originated from two main ideas. First, we felt there was a need to have a creative space for innovation for our music, uh, our Afro-influenced music from Puerto Rico and music in general. And our aim to push the limits and the boundaries of our two main Afro-influenced music genes from Puerto Rico, Bomba and Plena. <laughs> After a couple setbacks and a very long and strenuous process, our project finally met its match with Jorge Emanueli Nater or Hermanos Emanueli. <laughs> so it was Jorge's uh, creativity, ingenuity, and innovative music concept that finally pushed this project into new dimensions. You know, just like in the 1940s when a group of musicians in New York, the likes of Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker, started exploring with groundbreaking sound that at that time seemed kind of risky and out of place, but proved to be the foundation of modern jazz. The same way in the 1960s when a group of musicians in New York, the likes of Willie Colon, Joe Cuba, Ray Barreto, to mention some, decided to break with conventional musical winstons at the time and embark on a musical journey that redefined the perception of Latin music back then and continues to redefine the perception of Latin music today. Thus, we stand here today in what we hope will be the beginnings of a new renaissance for Afro-Puerto Rican music. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Riz Belvis is proud to present the Chicago Afro-Puerto Rican Ensemble.
Thank you. Muchas gracias. Chicago Puerto Rico y Sam.
cuento, te cuento rico, sabemos muchos negros. ¿Cómo están esta noche? How are you this evening? ¿Cómo están esta noche? How are you this evening? Este es Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. This is Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. Y lo que traemos es masacote. She can translate that. <laughs> We're bringing you to a music church tonight. How's that? Woo! Yeah. Something fat. Eh, interpretamos al principio influencia y fundamento boricua. At the beginning we interpreted influences and, and foundations uh, that are Puerto Rican. Nuestro segundo número presentándonos a ustedes fue Capre, Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. Our second number was self-titled Capre, Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. Y acabamos de interpretar un holandés. And I just, or we just interpreted an holandés. Y uh, para mí es muy importante educar. And it's just as important for me that we educate as well. No solamente entretener. Not just entertain. En Puerto Rico hay un ritmo que se llama holandés. In Puerto Rico there is a bomba rhythm called holandés. Or Dutch. Y yo quiero que todo el mundo lo sepa. And I want everybody to know that. Y al principio tocamos... Todos los ritmos de bomba. At the beginning, we played all the rhythms of bomba. Como una introducción para que vayan familiarizándose con los ritmos de la bomba puertorriqueña y la plena puertorriqueña. So that you begin familiarizing yourselves with the different rhythms of both bomba and uh, plena that are from Puerto Rico. Ahora vamos a interpretar un yuba. Now we're going to interpret a yuba rhythm. Este yuba eh, tiene... Eh, un poquito más de 100 años de compuesto. This particular song has, uh, is about 100 years old or so. Y eh, se la compusieron los tocadores de bomba, eran los hijos de los que fueron esclavos. The children of slaves in Puerto Rico are the ones that created this song. Y eh, se la dedicaron a mi bisabuelo Sergio Nater. And they dedicated it to his great grandfather, Sergio Nater. Eh, y para mí es un honor el día de hoy And for me, it's an honor today haber excavado esa canción to have excavated that song como un proyecto eh, de, eh, como, como si fuera un proyecto de, eh, de antropología. Just like an anthropological uh, project. Pues así excavamos esta canción y es un placer para mí compartir con ustedes. Sergio Nater, levántate. And for me... <laughs> For me, it is a great pleasure to have excavated this song and to be here tonight to play it just for you. Venga esa bomba. Here we go, bomba.
inocente también Oye me bombero Yeah, go, go. 
I want to just really thank these musicians that are here on the stage. I, I want to give them a round of applause. So, these musicians, these musicians have been very patient uh, with this process and have had a lot of endurance through this hard and long process of creating uh, an Afro-Puerto Rican orchestra, this type of Afro-Puerto Rican orchestra in Chicago. So, they have not only have an amazing musicianship, but they also understand that they want to play music with a purpose, not just play music in general for your entertaining. So all these musicians, we really uh, appreciate everything you've done. And there's been some of you that have been here from, since the beginning <laughs> of this process. And I just, uh, you know, I, I, I want to say their names really quick because they were here when there was nothing. <laughs> and we, were, uh, we met with Jorge and we started doing this. So, uh, you know, uh, Angel Rodriguez, our, our great trumpeter, uh, thank you for, your for all your efforts here. Arturo Vasquez, um, Jeff Burton, uh, Pablo Torres, Sheck Blackshear, and Sam Reck, Charlie uh, Topper, and, and uh, Charlie <laughs> Charlie Barbera, and Jamie Topper. Uh, these guys were here from the from the get go since the beginning. So uh, we really appreciate you had the patience to where the project is now, and obviously the musical genius of Jorge Emanuele Nater. So Jorge, we are very uh, grateful and very. We feel very proud to be partnering with you. Uh, we feel very proud to be associated with your legacy and your talent. So we hope this we, the beginning of many more partnerships with our cultural center. So Jorge, thank you for all your efforts, your time, and your creativity. So the second set of the Chicago Afro Puerto Rican Ensemble. Ahora vamos a interpretar plena. Now we're going to uh, interpret a plena. ¿Cuánto le gusta la plena? How many of you like plena? Bueno, esto es un, un eh, concepto, como le llamamos, avant-garde. This is uh, what we call an avant-garde concept. De vanguardia. Y uh, eh, van a escuchar algo muy diferente en cuanto a la evolución de la plena puertorriqueña en Puerto Rico y fuera de Puerto Rico. Con ustedes ahora, no juegues con candela. You're going to hear, I don't remember all of that. You're going to hear a concept right now that's very different from what you've already heard. This is a totally different genre. It's plena, and it's one of the other uh, African-derived uh, musical forms from Puerto Rico.
porque me ve sonreír. Pregúntale a Coli Colo si yo no le sé huir. Tú estás como un maní Yo me he comido ya siete Soy el toro campeón Si no te conviene y vete Que solo yo estoy mejor And speaking about plena, <laughs> plena, it's, let's say it's the, the cousin of bomba in Puerto Rico. And these are not the, the only two afro influence or Afro-derived genres in Puerto Rico. And in a future show, we hope to show you two very obscure genres that are very unknown even, listen to this, even in Puerto Rico, they are very obscure. But today, we're sharing bomba, plena, it's a little bit, a little bit uh, more known in the island and outside the island. But when bomba started in 18th century, I mean, many years after, many centuries after, at the end of the, uh, uh, the 19th century, beginning of the 20th, Plena started emerging. And there was this plenero, very well known, that even today it's known in the history of Plena as El Rey de la Pena. How many, how many saw the, uh, the uh, family tree of Boom Boom? Did you see it? Come on. Well, we have a surprise for you tonight. Uh, I am descendant of Sergio Nater, the great primo and uh, uh, drummer of Bomba. But tonight, we have a special guest who is a, a, a salsa instructor, a professional salsa instructor. But not only that, but he is 
the, the great grandson of Joselino Oppenheimer Boom Boom, El Rey de la Plena, and he's here in Chicago. Y yo quiero traer a Emmanuel Oppenheimer para que nos. So, so he can dance a little bit of Plena. Come on. Hey, está Plena. Echa. Boom Boom. Echa, Emmanuel, como la Plena. Matan a Boom Boom. Matan a Boom Boom. Matan a bum bum, canario en un baile de plena. Matan a bum bum, no no no. Matan a bum bum, matan a bum bum, canario en un baile de plena. Otra vez, toda tu vez. Matan a bum bum, eso es. Matan a bum bum. El bisnieto de Bum Bum. Gracias, Emanuel. Oye, ¿y cómo? ¿Cómo es la salsa? ¿Cómo es la salsa? Espérate. This is a salsa instructor. So, dame un montuno, un montuno, che. Dame un montuno. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Ajá. Ahora.
Manuel Oppenheimer. Gracias, Manuel. Muchas bendiciones. Carnaval Boricua. Vamos para el carnaval. Puerto Rico en carnaval. El carnaval de Puerto Rico, which actually takes place in Ponce, but we have done a mix of what happens in Loiza and what happens in different places of Puerto Rico. So, with all of you, Carnaval Boricua. Temporal, 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 allá viene temporal. Que será de muy borinque. Allá viene temporal. Que será de 
Puerto Rico.
Señoras y señores. Everybody. Ha llegado. Ha llegado el momento de despedirnos. The time has come to say goodnight. Yo quiero que conozcan a la orquesta. Right, Comenzando. Okay, starting. Este es nuestro nuestro pianista nuestro keyboardist This is our keyboardist y también es uno de nuestros arreglistas and one of the arrangers y yo tuve el placer yo tuve el placer I had oh, the, it was my pleasure de poder componer to be able to compose hacer el arreglo original de Sergio Nate levántate to do the original arrangement con este caballero que está aquí with this gentleman right here Chef Blackshear en el piano Chef Blackshear Love it, Chef. y tenemos por acá siguiendo en esa línea en el bajo a Papo Margaro right next to him we Jorge. have bass we have Papo Margaro Oye, y yo le quería hacer una maldad. I wanted to play a, a prank. I wanted to play a prank. <laughs> on this guy. On this guy. Este hombre que está aquí. Y quería traerme un gong. And I wanted to bring a gong. He embarrasses me. Para mi amigo de la guitarra, Tetsuya. Tetsuya, the electric guitar. Ah. Y al ladito de Tetsuya. Right next to Tetsuya. Nuestro otro guitarrista. Our other guitarist. Este es el Jíbaro, el Hillbilly de Capre. Él, él es de aquí de Capre. Our guitarist, Mitch Holbrook. Mitch Holbrook, an electric guitar. Hi, Mitch. In the session. Right next to him. The brass. We have there a. Jeff Burton en la trompeta. Jeff Burton. Trompeta. Jeff. Jeff Burton on trumpet. Tenemos aquí 
también. Y este es uno que es conocido en el ambiente de la música. Un placer para mí compartir la tarima con Víctor García. Seguimos también con mi hermanito, una de las personas que ha estado desde el comienzo de este proyecto, one mi hermano. The, one of the people, thank you. One of the people since the beginning of the project last summer. My brother. Ángel Rodríguez. Ángel Angel Rodríguez. And trumpets. En el trombón. And trombone. Tenemos a otra persona de los originales. We have another one of the original members. De este proyecto. Of this project. Y otro hermano. Our brother. Arturo Vázquez. En el trombón. Arturo Vázquez. And trombón. Siguiendo, uno de los nuestros eh, nuevos componentes en el so saxofón, One of the newest members on saxophone. Eh, soprano, tenor y barítono, tenor, soprano and alto sax, Devin Dove. Devin Dove. <laughs> por acá con la percusión en los barriles de bomba puertorriqueña And the bomba barrel drums of Puerto Rico. este es el tambor más más antiguo de Puerto Rico, This is the oldest drum of Puerto Rico. y tenemos aquí en el primo And on the lead drum, tenemos a Ángel Fuentes we have Angel Fuentes Y acá tenemos también en el buleador a otra persona que también ha estado un ratito con nosotros y se llama Charlie Barbera en el buleador. And the second drum, and the second bomba drum, we have Charlie Barbera, one of the members that has been with Cabre for a long time now. Y esto es para los que dicen que las mujeres no tocan. Aquí tocando los cuá. También toca pandero. She played the pan drum. Y toca barril de bomba. And she plays bomba barrel drums. Y la percusión menor. And minor percussion. Jamie Topper. Jamie Topper. Representing the ladies. Aquí. En la parte evolutiva de la bomba. And on the, the part of bomba this evening that has involved evolution. Miembro muy importante. One of the very important members of the group. Eh, eh, domina muy bien la clave. And what about the clave? <laughs> domina muy bien la clave. Oh, he really dominates clave. Y me está ayudando a escribir un libro. And he's helping Jorge write a book. Te va a salir a final de este año. That's gonna come out later this year. Y, y es americano. And he is white American. Y tiene clave. And he feels that clave. Para los que dicen que white men can't jump. He embarrasses me sometimes. Sorry. Sam work. Sam work on drums. Give it up for Sam.
Seguimos acá. Acá en la percusión, en el rack. And on minor percussion, on the rack. Entonces, este es el dueño de los bells and whistles. And whistles. This is the master of the bells and whistles. Es timbalero también. And he happens to be a timbalero too. Tenemos a mi amigo aquí. One of our good friends. Carlos García. Carlos García. Master percussionist. Entonces, siguiendo por acá, los vocales. All right, on vocals. Allá tenemos a Mirna Vázquez. We Mirna. have Mirna Vázquez. Y al ladito de Mirna tenemos a Primitivo Cruz. Right next to Mirna, we have Primitivo Cruz. Primo. Entonces, también tenemos en la... la las vocalistas, ahora vamos a, a otras vocalistas más, ya pasamos una vocalista, un hombre, ahora vamos las últimas tres aquí the third run around we're going to, we've already had a female vocalist, a male vocalist, now the last three are female vocalists Lisette Atiles Lisette Atiles escapada del aeropuerto Y tenemos a Mariama Torreya. Mariama Torreya. Un poco. Y yo quiero que todo el mundo le dé un aplauso bien fuerte. Porque es mi esposa. Es mi esposa. Quiero que le dé un gran aplauso a mi esposa. Melanie Emanueli.
Muchas gracias.